What's up Simply Squad, it's your boy Desperate for Views Grinding and today we're gonna be like every other YouTuber and make an NBA 2K20 video. Hey, don't you judge me, okay? I can't mooch off of Nate Robinson no more. I need something else. Nah, but seriously, they just released a lot of NBA 2K20 info on Twitter and I have some thoughts about some of these things, so we're just gonna get right into it. First of all, they started off the blog by mentioning 2K18. That is 100% not what you wanna do. Unless you're trying to paint the picture that 2K20 is gonna be bad, then you might as well just throw up this graphic that the NBA 2K fans made. Now, nah, but for real, basically what they were saying is that in 2K18, they introduced a new motion system and they've been working on it and now it's like more and improved or whatever. We're just gonna skip past that because honestly, you can't really tell until you get your hands on the game. The first important thing that they covered was sprinting and they said we really wanted sprinting to be a valuable resource and not something that everybody automatically does. And they went on to say that if you sprint too much, your stamina will go down really fast and it'll start blinking yellow. You know, normal stuff, all right? I'm not really freaking out about that. Now where this article gets really interesting is the stuff about the ball handling. Now my dribble gods out there, they really did you dirty in this article, I ain't gonna lie to you. First, they start off by hyping you up, they're like, yeah, we added new concepts such as stop variation, dead leg punches, hezzy lifts, inverts, everything you wanna hear, right? They start naming NBA player animations, they give you examples, they say they have like a whole new list of styles, base, big, power, etc, etc. They keep it going by feeding into your ego by saying being a successful ball handler there's so much about rhythm and change of pace and that the new system gives you many tools to do that just by using the left stick but if you want to make your defender look bad in the process you're going to need some sauce hey man i don't know if this is true or not but i heard you get this sauce that you need by liking the video all right i don't know all right some of y'all like the video and let me know if you got the sauce in the comments anyways they keep the hype going by saying players have full control over whether they want to lull defenders to sleep or keep them off guard with fast paced dribble moves and they didn't stop there they even said the new size ups really give you the freedom to create your own unique rhythm when mastered you'll be able to break off even the best on ball defenders now this is where they start to do you dirty they follow that up by saying but when over dribbling or trying to perform the wrong moves at the wrong time you'll see players fumbling the ball or easily getting ripped by defenders which is fair right but then came this section for defenders and this part is funny as hell to me they just finished hyping all y'all dribble gods up and now they're like when guarding the ball defensive players will see a small small arrow under the ball handler indicating where they're going to go. Now that ain't the biggest deal, right? We all know that 2K is going to have some sort of cheese. The drip moves are going to be fast. It's going to be hard to follow that arrow. Then they go on to say anticipating the ball handler's movement properly and cutting off their attack will yield much more predictable outcomes such as Stonewall, the dribbler, forcing a pickup, causing a fumble, you know, normal stuff. But then they followed that with what every dribble god never wanted to hear. Basically, they wanted to add a skill gap so you could see who the best lockdown defenders are from the worst right so what they did to make that skill gap is let defenders know when you're most vulnerable to getting the ball stolen oh yeah man lockdowns definitely weren't one of the most overpowered builds in the game let's give them another advantage can you just imagine g-man or steezo going for a clip for their mixtape they're losing their defender doing some nasty ass dribble moves and all of a sudden they start blinking on their defender's screen and all you hear from the defender's controller is yeah, I don't know if that's the change that people wanted, but they did follow that up by saying reaching at the right times rather than running around and randomly spamming the steal button will be more effective, so I guess we'll see. Now moving on to some good news for my old heads out there. Now as y'all know, I am an old head. Technically, I am older than the average 2K player, right? The only thing keeping me from being your favorite old head is that I have never made a slasher on 2K. And I might regret that this year because they added a whole new contested layup feature that lets you control everything in the air. In the article, they said last year when you went for a layup, once you hit the button, you mostly just watched the sequence play out from the ground to the air. This year, they're adding a new gather feature which allows you to kick off an advanced gather on the floor, read the defense, and select how you want to finish that gather by redeflecting the pro stick as you take off. Now, I don't speak old head, but basically what I'm hearing is once you press X to go for a contested layup, I'm guessing you can switch hands by like swiveling the pro stick to the right or the left depending on where your defender is. Yo, my bad, y'all. I don't have to guess, I'm stupid. They left an example in the article. They said, say for example, you started a Euro gather but saw the defense close in, you could redeflect the pro stick down to branch to a floater to finish to avoid contact. I like that, man. It sounds like they're listening to us about wanting a skill gap. That'll separate good slashers from bad slashers instead of just holding X and praying for the animation to go in. For those of y'all worried that it's gonna be super cheesy and hard to stop, they do say forcing a gather into heavy traffic or directly into a defender will lead to jam ups, all right? So there's a skill gap on 
both sides. They also mention rim protectors by saying we captured hundreds of new in-air collisions, hard fouls, grab blocks, and swats to let rim protectors have their presence felt. Paint defenders who have good timing and decision making will be a force to be reckoned with and you'll definitely have to think twice when going head to head against them. Alright, so everyone's getting a little bit of love. Now here's the second thing I have a problem with. The first thing was the blinking whenever you're most vulnerable to getting ripped. I don't think that's going to be a good idea. I don't think that's going to be well received. But the second is the working off ball animations they're adding. If you've played 2K for years, you know what the BB is from 2K17. You know what the AA is from 2K18. You know what the DEX is from 2K19. They are all cheesy, unguardable moves that pure shooters use to get easy threes and to get their takeover quicker. They are literally unstoppable. If you watch any quote unquote comp stage player mixtape this year, all you're going to see is them dexing back and forth on the three point line and shooting a wide open green. The thing is, those were never off ball animations. They were just things that made your player move quicker that weren't supposed to be in the game. Now they're adding actual animation. The problem with that is the 2K community. The 2K community has never had an issue finding the cheesiest animations in the game any year. So they said they're adding fake first step spins and stutters that you can chain together or immediately branch out of to perform flare cuts. I guarantee at least one if not all of those animations are going to be abused on the inbounds on 2k20. They even go on to say the moves are also broken down into three levels to separate elite off ball players from the rest. What I'm guessing this means is certain builds or archetypes whatever it's going to be certain players are going to be able to get the best off ball animations and other players are not going to be able to have them at all. And they say that's going to create a skill gap for off ball players but honestly that just creates a disadvantage for the people that can't get the best off ball movements. To be honest I'm hoping that all of these animations are trash and no one's going to use them. I'm just keeping it straight up. Moving on we finally get some information on the screens. Is it going to be like 2k17 where everyone's setting big bodies and people are flying all over the place or is it going to be like 2k19 where screens were pretty much irrelevant? What they said was the new screening system offers complete control to help defenders navigate around screeners much more effectively. Now screens have been a problem in 2k for the past couple years more specifically how they drag you into the screen if you're anywhere near them it's like a gravity pull straight to the screen now in the article they say they give the defenders much more wiggle room to figure out if they want to go under or over the screen but to be honest i won't believe it until i see it and they also said they're adding a new concept called quick screens a quick screen is performed by either tapping b or circle depending on what console you're on and they say it carries a high risk high reward and must be used sparingly but honestly the last time we had a tap b option it was pushing and we all hated it okay so i'm a little skeptical they go on to say this can be a great tool to quickly rub your cutting teammates defender and slow him down just enough to help get your teammate open hey man i'm just saying push into the same thing you sure slow down the opponent by pushing him all the way to narnia no nah, i'm just playing y'all i'm not really worried about that too much as long as it has a balanced foul call ratio then it should be all right after that they go on to talk about how they help the ai not be a complete dumbass which they've been every single year of 2k so again won't believe it until i see it for that they say you might get away with leaving an ai open on rookie or pro they'll probably brick it but on higher difficulties they're allowing ais to mimic player shot timing so they'll be able to get greens wide open so it's like a risk and reward type thing you leave the computer open he might green the shot and make you look bad now the moment you've all been waiting for badges and takeover there is a confirmed 80 badges in nba 2k20 now obviously you're not gonna be able to get all 80 badges all right we're not doing demigods again unless you know there's some type of glitch but we'll move on from that i am pretty excited to see what new badges they came up with we have basically had the same recycled badges for the past three years so adding some new ones could be a good idea and they go on to say we even added neighborhood specific badges that enhance the physicality and flashy play of the playground basically saying park badges are back but this time for the neighborhood so we'll see how much those come into play now they did mention takeover but they didn't really say much all they basically said was that they've worked really hard to balance the more overpowered ones which i'm guessing they're talking about post score stretch you know whatever you think is the most overpowered takeover badge i'm guessing they reworked it after that all they said is to stay tuned for more information so basically that's all the news we know about 2k20 y'all this is completely confirmed y'all know me i never did a 2k20 rumor video i even held off on my 2k20 info video until i get it confirmed later in the month so yeah everything you heard today is 100 in nba 2k20 i hope y'all enjoyed i know this wasn't like my highly edited funny videos that i usually do so if y'all are new to this simply squad do me a favor and go watch one other video then decide if you want to subscribe or not 2k20 we're coming out with bangers all year long man but anyways y'all thank y'all so much for watching i love you all and as always keep grinding i can get you out of my mind no.
said I think about you all of the time, yeah Been imagining you all in my bed, whoa Keep, keep, keep running